Alright everyone, it is me, Jensen Chan. I forgot to hit the refresh button again, because that's what you always have to do. But, um, yeah, I had a really great night's sleep. Today I'm actually going to try something different on my diet. I'm actually going to deliberately eat very little calories. And then just eat my yogurt, which I haven't, <clears throat> which I haven't been eating. Alright, so I'm starting to stockpile yogurt in the fridge, so I want to start eating through that. And then I'm going to eat only one meal very late, very late into the day. So like, you know, six to eight. Because I tried something different yesterday when I was lifting weights. Today's my physical uh, day off. Is I made my final meal of the day a lot later. So like, I think I ate around, I ate my four uh, cheese infused sausages from Good and Gather. Chicken sausages, they're very good. But they're so, well, I mean, it's like four eighty nine for four of them, but... It's 19 grams of protein times four and 220 calories. It's like so good. It's so much healthy and so much less calories. And I felt full. So, and of course, I ate it with an apple and like, you know, a little bit of potato chips because they ran out of french fries <laughs> um, at Target. So I had to substitute in with potato chips. Um, well, that being said, I felt, I felt very full. It's like, and by the time I was hungry, I, I didn't really feel hungry, but... You know, I was like, oh, I'm trying to go to bed, so I'm just going to go to bed. So it's perfect for me. All right? I, I have to time it. So that, cause that way, why, cause why do I snack at night? Because I just get hungry, right? Because the gap between my final meal and like going to bed is like so long. My right? body just naturally, because your body naturally wants to eat three to six meals a day. And there's nothing you can do to stop that. But you can trick your body. So that's what I'm looking to do. So I'm going to try that. So not only am I going to not eat and hopefully wind up just doing a huge calorie deficit, but I'll still feed my body, of course, you know, more than enough protein so my muscles don't shrink. All right. So I'm going to try that. Um, you know, plus it also kind of stretches out my food supplies too because, you know, because, yeah, I made the mistake of going to Target on Monday. But it's like, you know, it's like I don't want to wait till Wednesday, which would be tomorrow, I think. Oh, actually, that's today. I didn't want to wait till Wednesday, which it would be today, to do my shopping. Because, you know, uh, which would cause start. And I had an okay amount of food supplies, but it wasn't like, you know, the comfort food, right? You know, I was running out of like, my main course, which is chicken. But, uh, yeah. But anyway, I am definitely going to stock up on that uh, Good and Garrett diced uh, chicken breast. Uh, 100 calories, 19 grams of protein, also. Uh, it's 8.59 a bag for like. 22 ounces i think this is a very good deal especially considering that i literally it actually tastes good that's that's the most surprising thing so yeah so anyway i kind of want to just barrel through this because i want to a play my video games and then b also read my book too i didn't really learn anything new yesterday it was just an actual like day-to-day -day chronicle of like you know jeff bezos hiring all more people to deal with barnes and noble because at the time this was like the late 90s Barnes and Noble was like obviously going to crush Amazon, and they were, and they specifically told Jeff Bezos, "We're going to crush you, but we don't want to, but we kind of like your spirit, so let's team up." And of course, Jeff said, "You know, f off," politely. So, uh, and that's where I'm at. Obviously, I already know from history that, well, we know from history that obviously Amazon came out on top, but um, you know, it, it's a long slog, so we'll see. Uh Oh yeah, and that's the other thing too. The guy who's writing the book actually used to work for Jeff Bezos, I think. Um, and then even at that time, Jeff like wanted to do a lot of press. He wanted to do a lot of media, right? Because you're trying to get everybody to Amazon. Nowadays, it's the opposite. Because you know, obviously, Jeff's everywhere, so he doesn't need the press anymore. All right. In my case, it's going to be the same thing. Right? I got to start out doing all the interviews. Got to do lots of marketing. Hopefully, my products are good. Because I still find myself just not wanting to code. But on the other hand, if I really wanted to start an entertainment company, it would be helpful if I still knew how to code something. Because again, Jeff Bezos was a really good programmer. So he knew how to code too. Eventually he obviously had to stop and do other things. In my case, you know, I could just start off simple and then I could start experimenting with like a little bit with multiplayer, right? But it'll still be mostly, and then I'll start my company, right? My game development studio company, which would actually, you know, it's, which I'm actually going to pay, like, I think, <clears throat> I think I found a really good one for like 150 to 200 bucks for a logo. 
on Game Dev Classifieds, because I'm going to copyright and make that my logo. Now, you look at the Blizzard Entertainment logo, right? It looks pretty awesome. EA's is very simple, right? It looks good, but it's very simple, right? It's like, well, no, I'm going to pay 150 200 bucks. You know, I want something fancier like Blizzard Entertainment's logo, okay? <laughs> and that'll be my thing. Unfortunately, I think my thing also happens to share a very similar name to like a porn studio too, or a porn website. So, uh, but you know, <laughs> what are you going to do, right? <clears throat> anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm going to try to get through this today and see what happens. Uh, so far, um, yeah, things look pretty decent. Bitcoin searches for this week have finally been released. It's now at 12, so it's still pretty much, you know, kind of down here. Uh, Bitcoin is, you know, again, fluctuating. So 63.5% Bitcoin dominance. 24 hour album is a little under 120 billion. Bitcoin is at 7,090. Uh, again, don't expect these things to go up anytime soon until after we start reopening. And we are actually reopening. Uh, the upper Midwest, like Ohio, Chicago, uh, Illinois, those states are reopening. Other countries are reopening-ish, uh, like Germany's reopening. Uh, UK is extending lockdown for another three weeks. Uh, Sweden doesn't give a shit, and they never did a lockdown. They're doing just fine, believe it or not. So, uh, yeah. So there's a link down in a tunnel. I have already liked and retweeted a bunch of stuff here. Um, fuck this guy. Um, wait, what? Oh, I have to refresh this page. Ah, oh, did you really? Ah, oh, God. All right. Anyway, um, yeah. So it's down here. I really hate these fake right uh, f words. Oh well. Um, Nick Fuentes and the Gorgers will deal with them in time. Uh, so they're gonna deal with. Uh, okay. So Trump's also threatening Iran, like. Um, if they harass our ships, blow them out of the water. So that's good. So Iran can stop being an annoying. And sure the, oh yeah, so there's the tweet. States are safely coming back. Countries go about business, special care, blah, 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 old people, blah, blah, <coughs> uh, Yeah, I actually Googled, did a Google search on this person. She's 90 years old, but she looks like she's in her like late f nine, 30s or 40s. I'm like, wow. I was like, okay, I'm going ahead with my super low calorie diet because... You age a lot faster the more calories you eat. So the fatter you are, the faster you get older. So biologically, so uh, you gotta be careful. That, that, that's why it's like okay, I better I better slim down more. All right, because when I reach ninety years old, I better look like forty, especially as a Chinese person, because you know we have really good aging genetics. So you know I better not abuse that. You know I, I gotta take full advantage of that. All right, because not everyone's Chinese in this world, obviously. Right, so you know it's like why am I going to throw away a gift? So I gotta do my part to take advantage. Uh, I didn't see this one. Excess national supply exchanges will allow U.S. hospitals to continue meeting ventilator demand, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so it turns out, like, we didn't really need that many ventilators, which is a good sign, but it's just like, you know, Democrats have gone way too, way too far with the shutdown. They've gone way too crazy. Um, but you know what? I'm actually okay with it because, again, these shutdowns are ultimately going to negatively impact liberals like overall, right? Conservatives are obviously protesting it, so obviously they'll eventually reopen, right? And what's the government, what's the, what's the state government going to do? Uh, order the cops to force them down? No, fuck, I mean, I bet even the cops in, in the states would join the conservatives. They're not going to, like, we're not at the point yet where cops will start betraying their own country and their own people, right? So, uh, it's not, uh, uh, Let's see. Uh, we're asking you to stay at home. Uh, oh, wait, that's our daily briefing. You are still a director to wear face back around in public, but social media can't be maintained. Let's look out for each other. Uh, yeah, that's why I bought my Amazon mask. It should be here. When's it coming? Um, April 24th, which would be this Friday, April 28th, which is next Tuesday. Okay. And I haven't, I haven't, it hasn't been shipped yet. Okay. Because I have to wait two and a half to three weeks for my uh, little mask. Uh, hit the X button over here. Clear the dungeon. Yes. All right. Let's do that. Uh, yeah. I think we'll just do this for now. Earth Day. Today is Earth. Oh, yeah. 420 Day. Productive meeting with Trump today. We're going to show you how we're managing the actual tests in the laboratory. The flow of our supply chain issues are beyond state's control. 
Yeah, that's probably the best way to do it because, again, you don't, A, you don't want the federal government having to do everything because, well, I mean, yeah, you could say, oh, well, you know, we don't want government overreach, blah, 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 you know. Well, I mean, that's technically true. But, I mean, it's just too much. It's just too much shit to do. So just let the fucking states handle it. All right. Uh, so this is good. Uh, also, this is, like the, this is like the first tweet I've seen in a short while that Cuomo has actually said something nice. But, you know, Cuomo actually was pretty fair to Trump when he went on, I think it was Howard Stern. You know, he actually told Howard Stern, it's like, yeah, you know, Trump and I, we're both New Yorkers. We sit, we speak our minds because, you know, we're New York tough or something like that. And, you know, we just, we're very blunt. <laughs> so that's just how we are. You know, it's, uh, it was very fair. It was actually pretty nice to Trump. So, President, I also discussed being different from the state. We need, we immediately need Federal fight fell a hole and blah blah blah. The White House has understood, team has understood our need. We plan to double our testing capacity from 20k to 40k days, and Michelle Obama is crow. We ramp up the testing. Yeah, so he's been saying that as long as we can test everyone, then we can start reopening New York, which would technically make sense, right? Because, um, whatchamacallit. Because we need to know who's infected. If they're infected, then they have to be isolated. If you're not infected, then we have the ability to check occasionally that you might be infected then you could go out and about and do your business right you know sure there'll probably be still social distancing and some restrictions but you know at least we can kind of get back to normal yeah you know can you imagine all the uh, pride parades in the next few months like of or diversity parades and everyone's going to be doing social distancing that'll be interesting to watch assuming uh, assuming that's even going to be allowed uh donald trump joe biden so i have to refresh the page on that so we'll check that in a sec um oh yeah so litecoin's at 42 bucks dog coin 250.7 million market cap so that's good and steam steam is at 15.10 cents so again yeah prices are going to remain literally at this price level right so will the Dow. The Dow is probably basically just going to fluctuate between probably 22,500 to like 24K. It's not going to go up until like things start changing fundamentally. And that's exactly what it looks like. So yeah, it's stable. It's predictable. I like it. Seattle, Mayor Kutcher is reopening economy sector by sector. So even Seattle and Washington, like, because because I think the Democrats by now, not only do they have to deal with people who are getting mad about the shutdown, but they're also realizing, hey, wait a minute, we're fucking ourselves in the ass way more than we're doing conservatives. Conservatives don't give a shit. It's like, oh, man, we better reopen, you know. And they also kind of know that they went way too fucking much on the hysteria. So, and again, who dies from coronavirus, right? People pre-existing conditions, very old people, right? Specifically boomers and uh, fat people. So, I mean, you know, people are going to start realizing, you know what, fuck it, <laughs> right? You know, they're, they're going to be, I don't want to say they're really left to fend for themselves, but yeah, they're basically going to be like, you know what, we're not going to drag society out just for them, right? We'll do the best we can, we'll tell them to isolate, and if they still continue to ignore or whatever, then too bad. And that's pretty much what, what's going to be happening here. Um, and on top of that, look. Trump was able to at least sign. Oh yeah, there's one thing I did want to look for. I didn't cover this. He signed the executive order doing the immigration moratorium. Now, for some reason, there are exceptions to it. Uh, Jared Kushner apparently could screwed it up, and Nick Fuentes and the Kuipers are bringing that to light. I don't know what the specifics are. I don't know. There's like some kind of shit. But the fact that Trump's able to do something like this and not really get too much pushback. Because, again, Americans are agreeing with this. Like, hey, we have fucking coronavirus. We have shutdown. Why are we still bringing all these fucking people in? You know, people, like I said before, people are becoming natural right-wing conservatives because they have to. You do that or you die, in this case, from coronavirus. What's the Democrats going to fucking say then? They can't, they can't spam their anti-white, you know, ultra, super-duper diversity retard bullshit on you. It's like, it's like, I don't want to die. Why are you fucking saying this? You know, I need you removed from the office, and we're going to put you on trial for a mass murder, right? Because you're literally trying to kill us, all right? Even a Democrat and a shitlip can't fucking argue against that, right? Because, <clears throat> again, what is coronavirus? It's basically, like Trump says, an invisible enemy. And my add to it, and my add, add to that is it's an invisible enemy who has a visible gun to your fucking head and is ready to pull a trigger to blow you and all your loved ones' brains out, all right? 
you know, wouldn't wouldn't that kind of scare you? Because it sure as hell would, right? And not to mention, it would also piss you off too, wouldn't it? Right? So you're not going to have any room whatsoever for BS. So, yeah. So that's what's happening. All right. Oh, God, Crex is just being annoying. Now, there's a lot of good things happening with uh, proof of stake coins. So I'm hoping this thing can load. So we'll give it a little bit. There you go. There we go. All right. So GMC Vime is actually... Shoot. See, I'm not logged in, and I'm not going to, so... All right. We're just going to look at this. All right. Coin volume. 246.55. It's at 10 to 11. It's actually 11 to 12. So GMC has been doing really well for some interesting reason. Not that I'm complaining. 404 coin is back down to 6 to 7. But there's been a crazy amount of trade activity going on. Now it's at almost $2,000 worth daily volume. So um, I don't know. But now that price is going down, it's like, yeah, I guess we're going to have to do the <clears throat> coin swap and then just try to keep the thing stable. And then 2x2 two two has also been getting some kind of nice little boom. $909.43 and the price is 75 to 77 uh, Satoshis of a uh, Bitcoin. So, so our core proof of stake coins are doing very, very well. And then compound coin is pretty much where it you know, has always been. So 6,500 to 7,000 Satoshis of a dog coin. So uh so everyone's reopening up uh, america and really the world uh liberals are starting to feel the sweat especially the democrats in charge so you know they're gonna cave because again if you do the shutdown guess what you can't have your pride marches you can't have your diversity initiatives right you can't have your you know mass angry bitter bitch you know anti-trump pra um, parades right what was it women against trump or whatever i don't know i just, I just call them the stupid pink hats right we remember those stupid pink hats Right? You can't have any of that, right? Who does that benefit? Yeah, us. <laughs> so, all right, keep it, keep it shut down, right? You know, but Democrats are, the Democrat leadership, as incompetent and, and as evil as they are, they're not fucking that retarded, all right? They, they, they must have figured out by now, it's like, hey, we thought we could hurt the Republicans with this. No, we're hurting ourselves. So... Now, of course, the coronavirus has zero effect on people who are conservatives who do farming. Because, obviously, <laughs> A, they have to deal with disease all the time because otherwise you'd be shipping infected food and you can't do that, right? And then number two, it's so spread out, right? I'm not a farmer, but I know how a farm works. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> it's like, okay. In fact, I think they're making a lot of good money right now. You know, Well, maybe, I mean... Problem is, restaurants are closed down and bars, so the demand for food from those drops to zero, so it has to be made up everywhere else. So it's actually kind of neutral-ish. <clears throat> oh yeah, I completely forgot about the stimulus package that they approved yesterday. I don't know, it's like, now that we've seen a $6 trillion or $2 trillion bill, this 484 is like, whatever. Oh, but that's the other thing too, 484 was, um, most of it is for the Paycheck Replenishment Program, the PPP or whatever it's called. So I'm hope I'm assuming that's where my Trump bucks are coming from because right now I still haven't gotten it yet. So I haven't checked in a few days, but um, yeah, I don't want to log in. So, uh, but that's good. You know, at least they're at least Democrats have finally stopped holding up my fucking Trump bucks. Which is why I get irritated that people are still voting Democrat because the Democrats can fuck everybody over and not pay any price, but the Republicans do the exact same thing and they lose points. It's just so irritating to me. Uh, Slay rise before. Da, 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 da. But yeah, whatever it is, I don't really care because because most of that stimulus package is going to replenish the paycheck program anyway, so it, it doesn't really matter. All right, just give me my Trump bucks. I still haven't gotten it yet. Central Bank of Argentina pilots decentralized blockchain check to the country's largest financial institutions. Uh, Argentina. No, I was thinking of Venezuela. Now I'm starting to confuse all of them. Locked stream CEO Bitcoin. Uh, may I have written this new? No, he's not. Ripple sues YouTube. Well, there's failure to stop crypto scares causing irreparable harm. Huh, no, this is unusual. Uh, I, I, and I can't hit the X button on this. Who runs this advertisement? I'm just curious, because if it's a Google ad, it should be able to hit the X button. All right, guess not. All right, we're actually going to look at that. Uh, crypto, new car tops, Bitcoin. Uh, blah, 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 blah. 
Uh, what? Not okay, follow it. Billionaire Mark Cuban says one textile is heading for the moon despite economic turmoil. Yeah, I don't really care. Uh, Coinbase taps investment banking exec and push to bring ten billion in big money to Bitcoin crypto. Hmm. Okay. Ripple exec says it's through a trading boost taking XRP behind the scenes with crypto exchange, but still taking the lead. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Well, of course, the problem is uh, Coinbase. Uh, Deplatformed uh, Laura Loomer, Rushvi, and Gab. So, mm, what are you gonna do? All right. So Trump's got a small lead. We already went over Trump. We already went over Cuomo. So, all right, we got this little thing. All right. So, what is this? This is completely out of left field. I guess we're gonna make this the thing because not much is happening today. Oh, look at that. Uh, Firefox and Google Ads somehow already know that I was looking for uh, face masks. Look at the, look at that. I don't, I'm not even logged in here at all it's like wow payment firms ripple and ceo brad garlinghouse are suing youtube accusing them of uh dealing with scams on the platform cyber thieves are using youtube in addition to other social platforms to launch so-called giveaway scans to crypto such as bitcoin ethereum and xrp as scammers launch live streams using the images of leading tech figures and companies trying to convince people to send small amounts of crypto to an address in order to receive a larger sum in return which never comes Okay. Scams and impersonating Bill Gates and Brad Garlinghouse have recently surfaced on YouTube Ripple. Uh, so this is probably why they banned Tony Vase. Because uh, YouTube is trying to create algorithms to deal with these scams in an automated fashion. That's probably what's happening. And Ripple SC are asking for an uh, amount of compensation. Still, I still find this kind of weird. I don't know. Suing YouTube. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but I will tell you this, I'm already starting to get annoyed with Ripple because this is just going to make Google and YouTube start censoring even more. All right, we're going to pay the price. And Ripple obviously doesn't give a shit about, you know, non-Ripple coins. You know, I mean, I'm no big fan of Google and YouTube, but, you know, on the other hand, they've been pretty nice to the Bitcoin community despite all the bannings because they reverse most of the bannings, if not all of them. So, you know, you can't say that about, say, political, uh, like conservatives that are getting banned, right? So, you know, so at least Google has been like, yeah, you know, we're pretty cool with Bitcoin for now. This might change that, though, and I'm, I don't like that. Over the past several months, Ripple, because I really don't want to be using BitChute, because if I have to start using BitChute again, I may consider just not doing any more of my fucking videos, or I'll just do one a week or something. I continue to suffer pro hard This fraud on often and dubiously named the XRP one giveaway scan is a third party attack on Ripple's brand. Okay, whatever. Also, also accuses YouTube itself of profiting off the scans by allowing the fraudsters to purchase ads promoting their videos. Actually, shit. If that's actually the case, I mean, it's not intentional. It's just part of their system, and it's mostly automated, and they didn't know. Yeah, actually, Ripple might actually have a case. Uh, it's because customer confusion is going to be a leader of effective scan. Uh, Utah also generates revenue from the infringing conduct. Clearly, after it was informed of the scan, Utah sold and will continue to sell paid ads to the fraudulent agent for anyone. Well, YouTube clicks on video, so it's just a video. So he or she is taking it directly to a YouTube channel that's running the scam. The YouTube thus profits from the infringing, infringing Ripple's marks. Uh, let me think. Doesn't Google benefit from the the cd the cda 230 like you can't be held liable for anything i mean that's what youtube's going to argue here i didn't mean to click that out either oh, god yeah see it, like it's such bullshit right youtube can be a publisher and ban whatever they want but then but then they can also just not be you can't sue them for anything Ah, oh, God. So it's basically a bunch of assholes that I don't like suing each other or getting sued. So, all right. I mean, what's my opinion? I don't know. I just don't like it. But if I had the power to stop it, I don't think I would stop it. It's like, yeah, just, just let them do it. Screw it. If they start because we are, Bitcoin is not political ideology, right? In fact, it's designed to be completely neutral. So if Google wants to attack the Bitcoin cryptocurrency, uh, community by banning content right related to that hey you know that's just gonna that's just gonna just dig google a bigger hole now that i've been reading about the now that i've been reading the jeff bezos book you know it's like i'm reminded yeah no empire lasts forever i did a tweet about it 
all right? You know, just because you're on top today doesn't mean you'll always be on top, you know, tomorrow, right? You know, like in terms of video games, P uh, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds was on top, right? In fact, they held a massive tournament in Force and Minus Bronze Pan from there, right? You know, it was like 324,000 live viewers in 2017. And that game was poorly optimized and was like ran like shit, right? Now where's PUBG, right? It was like, a, like you probably don't even know what that game is, you know, if you're a new or, or a very new newcomer, but you know what Fortnite is. So no one stays on top forever. Now, Google is actually not stupid, so they can maintain their lead, but, you know, they are creating more and more enemies, right? You know, they can push around political ideology, especially conservatives, but they can't push around cryptocurrency because that's just going to make a lot of people mad, uh, specifically liberal people, right? Because, you know, because that means how is Coinbase going to, like, push their shit, right? Because they're very pro-Bitcoin. Jack Dorsey of Twitter, very pro-Bitcoin. What's Google going to do? Go up against them, too, right? You know? Pretty sure, like, you know, Google has already knows, like, hey, we're kind of pissing off a little too many people, right? You know, this isn't your average, you know, stupid Trump supporter, right? You know, that's, that's how Google would probably view us, right? These are actually, like, you know, smart left-wing people like us. It's like, shit, you know, maybe we... So, I don't know. Um, so, I'm thinking right off the bat, it might be thrown out. I mean, it should be thrown out simply because of the CDA 230. Uh, is it called? Yeah, Communications Decency Act, two Section two thirty, where you just cannot. Uh, whatever. Uh, but what's interesting is, could Ripple actually, if what well, that's what Google's going to argue, and could Ripple actually say, but hey, you've been censoring people like a publisher, so you don't actually, you're not actually acting like that. So actually, maybe this lawsuit might actually be a really big blessing. This might actually break the CDA two thirty. CDA. 230. I'm hoping this, yeah, yeah. No provider user of interactive computer should be treated as a publisher or speaker of any other. Okay, yeah, so there it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this could actually have some pretty good uh, implications. So I've got cur I'm actually curious to see, right? Um, but I don't know. Ripple's going to have to start arguing that, you know, YouTube likes to censor. So we'll see. Because I don't really see that. They say, all I see is basically copyright infringement. That's what they're suing for. And I think YouTube's going to be able to successfully get this thrown out, but we'll see, right? Because that's what will happen. And then hopefully Ripple, if they're doing the right thing here, right, they'll say, hey, you know what? Google likes to ban uh, ideology. Here's, here's endless proof. So it'll be interesting. Unfortunately, conservatives are still behind the curve, especially when it comes to technology. So they're not able to hook up with Ripple and take advantage of this. So and if I were more famous, maybe I could have done something. But obviously, I'm not. Just a just a little little rich man that's uh, no one's really knows about yet. So if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or on my uh, <coughs> YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash GMC radio. <coughs> I need to drink some more water. <coughs> Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page. So we can continue growing this channel. You know, because, yeah, I just want to grow the channel. So anyway, I'm also doing my bit hero as well. I'm doing my intro that I pretty much have memorized at this point. Or outro, I should say. So, uh, so overall, things are looking pretty good. Things are going back to normal. Uh, again, markets, crypto, and stocks and equities, really really the whole world will not be going up until we start fully reopening up and we go back to business as usual. So I would say in about two, three months, especially at the height of summer or the beginning of summer, that's when things should be uh, going back up again. Now, my, I, and then I guess we'll worry about this coming winter when flu season breaks out again, we'll see what happens with the, like, are they going to do another shutdown as a preemptive measure? Um, I don't know. People might get really mad. Um, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Uh, as for this lawsuit, I mean, already Google's got a pretty strong uh, case to have it dismissed thanks to CDA 230. But if Ripple wants to do the right thing, which they should be, because right now I just think of them right now as being an asshole right now, uh, and based on the lawsuit stuff, you know, I haven't seen a single thing about censorship here, right? All I see is copyright and where's my money kind of thing. 
well, you know, Ripple, uh, you know, Ripple's going to have the case thrown out. So they have to argue that YouTube is not acting like a publisher and they're violating CDA 230. So, you know, well, we'll see. We'll see how we'll, we'll see how it goes. See you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. And always remember, Johnson Chan. Ah, these stupid crates that I don't need. JMC coin, 404 coin. Things are looking stable, but they won't go up much. I'm happy that crypto, our exact cryptos are doing pretty well. All right. So once this, once this coronavirus retard bullshit's over, I replenish my bank account a little bit with money. Or actually, maybe not. I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll start doing coin swaps. You know, I still haven't heard from Mitch, but you know, he's kind of just bunkered down in Germany right now. So, but I know he's doing well. So I'll probably hear from him again sometime in mid May. Um, and since Germany's reopening, right? Because they said bars and restaurants will open this coming Friday, and the next Monday will be schools and theaters or something like that. I don't feel like doing the uh, Google search for it, but but yeah, they're already reopening, all right? And they're doing it in phases, obviously. So uh, yeah, we'll be back to normal. I'll be back to life as normal very soon, and it kind of kind of has to because the longer this goes on, the more and more conservatives and nationalists that just get generated every single hour. All right, you know, um, uh, and, and there's nothing even the liberals can do. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised the liberals started joining it because they're gonna be like, I can't make money, I can't pay rent, I can't go to work, right? I can't go to my pride marches. You know, the Democrats. Are, and my leadership are telling me to stay home, save lives, which I agree with. But the conservatives are like, well, you want to be free. And it's like, shit. I mean, at some point, the cognitive dissonance is just going to favor. Like right now, this is one of the rare situations that actually favor us. We don't have to do anything, right? Because we have right of way, just like in driving. So Democrat, we're going to have to reopen, all right? And we are. So, uh, oh, I forgot to mention, I also bought a little more extra Rimmel today. Uh, I had like 350 bucks from dividends or something. Funny enough, a lot of dividends came from all my Rimmel positions. So I spent all of that and just bought like 100 and, I don't know, like I think I bought 135 sh extra shares of Rimmel. So uh, yeah, I mean, at this cheap price, you know, yeah, I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to have an opportunity like this again. So, you know, I may not be able to get back my $1.2 million from the stock market, which I should be have made, but you know, I can get a nice little chunk of that. So, yeah, 100 grand, 200 grand would be good, really good. Uh, I don't know if I can get 300 grand. I think, but I think by the time it gets to that point, I mean, it's already gonna, everything's gonna go back up anyway. So I'm getting what I can. Oh, wait, hold on. I wanna hit stop recording, not exit.